What is up, party people? My name is Daryl, and today I'm going to be showing you something really cool. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can download all the images from your WordPress websites through the WordPress Media Library. Now, when you're using WordPress, it's really hard to download all the images, especially if you have over two, 300 images, right? Especially, you know, if you have clients and they're saying, hey, I, I want you to download all the images and switch it to this website. Downloading each and every one can be a total pain in the butt. Now, this plugin is very interesting. It'll also allow you to access the cPanel through WordPress. Now, I'm gonna be showing you how this works and also give you a kind of tip of advice on this plugin because it is very useful, but at the same time, uh, you might want to kind of uh, not use it all the time. So right here, I'm gonna go to plugins and go to add new. And the plugin that we're gonna be using is called WP File Manager. So WP File Manager, and you will see this plugin right here. 200,000 active installs with five star ratings. Uh, it's a pretty well known plugin. So right here, I'm gonna click on install now. All right, it's installing and click on activate. So what this plugin essentially does is it basically allows you to access your entire cPanel through your WordPress dashboard. Now there are some good things about this and there are some things that are concerning about this, but for our purpose, it's great. So we wanna download the images, right? So let me just go ahead and show you how to do that. So right here, I have the WP File Manager and right here you click on WP File Manager. Now the really cool thing about this is that you can access your entire cPanel. In fact, this right here is your cPanel. So you can literally access your entire cPanel right here through the back end of WordPress. And right here you can kind of just see like the WP content, WP admin, all the stuff you, so you can basically have full control over your website right here. Now be mindful because whatever you change right here, it will also affect the server as well. So I'm gonna go to my WP, um, WP content and you'll probably wanna click on uploads. And usually right here, you'll see like the year of like whatever it is, like 2016, 2019, whatever, and so on and so forth. And these usually contain the images. So right here, I'll click on 2019. I'll click on this folder right here. And here we can see all of the images. So right here, you can see, depending on your server, it might put them in a different folder. But uh, for most of you, you know, you just click on the, the actual folder, 2018, 2019, and you can go ahead and download all of the images right here. So uh, right here, I'll just give you an example on how to do this. So right here, we have all these images, right? So right here, we have all these images and I wanna download all of them. You know, I wanna download all of them. So what you can do right here is you can simply just go ahead and take all of them right here and hold shift and then just kind of whoop, go all the way up. And then we'll go over here and there's an option over here to download all of them right here. So I believe it is, it's one of these options right here. I did it earlier right here, create archive, let's see right here. Um, I think it is, is it this one right here? Upload files. Here we go, download. So right here, click on download. And now you can see that all the images are now on a zip folder. So this is a much faster and convenient way on how you can download all the images from your WordPress library using this plugin. Now, there are some great things about this plugin. Obviously, right here, you can access your dashboard. I think this is really cool. It's really useful. You can see it right here, all the, all the themes. If you want to make you know, CSS, if you want to upload something right here to your server, you can do it all right here. Now, the only thing that I'm kind of concerned about the plugin that I would just say, you know, it's, uh, just use it and then kind of deactivate it is that if someone actually hacks your WordPress dashboard, they have full access to your cPanel, meaning that's very dangerous because they can modify and change all of the files right here. So a lot of the stuff, you know, you don't really want, you don't need to have uh, access to this all the time, but for security purposes, I'm going to say, you know, it's uh, just, just do what you want with it, you know, be mindful, but just keep in mind that if someone does hack your WordPress website, they're going to have uh, full access to your cPanel and uh, that can be very, uh, not a good thing. You know, that can be very, not a good thing. So I uh, just keep that in mind, but ultimately the plugin's great. Um, I mean, if you're, if, um, you know, how many sites get actually hacked? You know, I've I've only had maybe one or two sites really hacked. So it's just a small cost for concern, but ultimately the plugin is very useful. I mean, it can really speed up the process. You can download all the images, you can access your cPanel, you can make changes right there, all right here from your WordPress library. So um, yeah, be sure to check that plugin out. I just thought it was really cool. I know there was a plugin called Down ML which was basically a plugin that allowed you to export all the images, but that plugin was actually depreciated recently and it is no longer available on wordpress.org. So I figured that this plugin is probably the best solution for those of you who are trying to download all the images from your WordPress website. So make sure to like this video, make sure to comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, comment, subscribe, like, and I'll see you all in the next video.